Speaking on what was a shocking return for her, Brown chatted with Deadline about her getting the opportunity to resurrect Sheila one more time and with a new contract to boot. When asked if she thought B and B's executive producer and head writer, Brad Bell changed course midstream in the story, Kimberlin expressed, either that or he had this in mind all along and just didn't tell me about it. But I can't see anybody doing anything that evil, however. That would be a Sheila moment. Kimberlin also shared how she first learned she was being let go from the show, recalling, Brad called me upstairs to talk to me about what he had in mind for Sheila. It was a hard pill for me to swallow. It had been years of playing Sheila, and I consider her my baby, so to speak. And that was definitely not news I was anticipating or hoping to receive. She added, when I walked into his office, he looked at me and went, we're killing off your character. As to what the future holds for Sheila, enduring villainous and fan favorite, Kimberlyn Brown shared some intel. I am happy to say that I have been asked to negotiate another contract. So, glad to know that Kimberlyn Brown is back as Sheila Carter. What do you think will be Sheila's next move? Did you believe for a second, maybe two, that Sheila would really be dead dead on the soaps? Comment below. On Monday, April 29, fans of the beloved soap opera learned that Brown's character, Sheila Carter, hadn't actually been killed off in a shocking twist. Back in February, Brown's time on the series appeared to be cut short when she was stabbed by her daughter-in-law, Steffi Forrester, but head writer Brad Bell threw fans a curveball by making a character named Sugar, who was a doppelganger for Carter, the actual victim. Kimberlyn Brown isn't gone for good for the bold and the beautiful after all the actress, says that when she spoke to Bell about her return he was very vague. He was like, okay, I'm working on something. I don't know what it is. And I said, okay. Talk about a roller coaster, she recalled, sharing that she believed her devoted fans were responsible for her return. The only thing I can think of is maybe it's because of my fans. Maybe everyone who was commenting, who made everything go viral, she explained. Brad does listen. He does pay attention. And in my opinion, I truly believe that my following and my fans and the people who have loved to hate Sheila all these years are responsible for me coming back. It was a hard pill for me to swallow, Brown told Deadline of the moment she learned she would be killed off. It had been years of playing Sheila, and I consider her my baby, so to speak. And that was definitely not news I was anticipating or hoping to receive. It's not my place to question why decisions are made the way that they are, she said. I'm just very, very happy that he chose to bring me back. It surprised me when he told me how he was doing this, and he had to put a lot of research into the backstory to make this current story happen. Though she doesn't know exactly what prompted her return, Brown revealed that she liked to focus her energy on work and go home to her family after hard-earned day. Laying there on that floor when the paramedics pronounced the time of death, my eyes were closed and you're holding your breath so it doesn't look like you're breathing, she added. It was just like, wow, Oak, okay, I guess we'll have to see what might come next for me. Well, you know, it's a tough place for me to be in right now. I'm not going to lie about this, Brown said at the time. I guess if anyone were going to take Sheila down, I'm happy it's Steffi. I just wish that no one was taking Sheila down. It's my happy place where I have been so blessed to be for over 35 years, she continued. But I've had a good run at it, so I'm one of the lucky ones, there's no doubt about it. Brown revealed filming the death scene, in which her character appeared to be killed, was not only emotionally taxing, but also physically demanding, sharing, can I just say that the after effects for Sheila, laying on a concrete floor for hours, that really hurts. I was bruised for the week from laying on concrete reports of Shayla Carter's death on the bold and the beautiful have been greatly exaggerated. While the daytime soap villain had been killed off the CBS series only two months ago, 
Monday's episode revealed that she was actually alive this whole time as head writer Brad Bell reversed his decision on the fan-favorite character's fate. It turns out that the woman killed by Steffi Forrester in the pivotal February episode was actually Sheila's look-alike Sugar who first debuted on The Young and The Restless. Brown originated the role of Sheila in 1990 on The Young and Restless before moving to The Bold and The Beautiful two years later. She has appeared on both soap operas over the years. She earned a Daytime Emmy nomination for her role in 2022. She previously left the series to become part of Port Charles before joining One Life to live three years later. In 2005, she returned to The Young and The Restless. Brown reveals she had no idea that Belle was going to bring her back only months after killing her character on the show. It was maybe three to four weeks after they after they killed me off, she says of when she learned that she would return. I was trying to plan for my, my next stages in life and figure out what I was going to do, and I got a phone call from Brad. It was an awesome phone call to receive, especially after the last meeting that we had previous telling me that he was going to kill me off. It was wonderful. It definitely has made my year, Brown tells Entertainment Weekly of her surprise return. She was my happy place. She's a character that Brad's dad, Bill, gave me an opportunity to create and with his guidance to turn into one of the best villains in daytime. It's been a ride. It's going to be very interesting to see where things go from here. When she finally did learn how Sheila's return would be explained on the show, she loved it. I mean, this is brilliant, she says with a laugh. What a brilliant way to bring me back. I don't know what he would have come up with otherwise. Brown is so grateful to the legions of fans who spoke out against her exit, since she believes it's the fan support that helped bring her back. Brad listened to the audience. I do believe that, she says. My fans and the viewers of this show are the reason, if not the biggest reason, that I'm back. I had so many people making so much noise on my behalf, and I'm very thankful for the noise that they made. I can't even put it into words because it leaves me speechless. But it took some time for her to learn how they were going to resurrect Sheila, because Bell didn't know yet how he was going to pull it off. When he said that they were going to reverse it, it was very vague, Brown says. He said they were going to bring me back and I said, how? And he said, we're still working on that. We're doing all kinds of research, but I just wanted to ask you, would you come back? And I said, absolutely. This is a dream come true for me. Since Kimberlyn Brown's character was killed off, fans of the soap have been questioning whether Sheila would stay dead. Not only is she a master manipulator, but she's cheated death multiple times. However, this go-around Brown had given an exit interview. While it didn't seem certain to longtime viewers that Sheila was gone for good, the actress certainly thought that she'd wrap the role. Sheila Carter is back on The Bold and the Beautiful. Monday, April 29th episode saw her love Deacon and her son, Finn, searching an abandoned building for her. Finn found her unconscious under a blanket on a dirty mattress surrounded by evidence she'd at least had some food and water while missing for weeks. Deacon verified that it was really her by checking the toes on one of her feet. There were only nine, so that's definitely the infamous woman herself. In the soap world, at least from my experience with the CBS daytime soaps. Fan outcry does move the needle. It can even determine how quickly an actor is brought back after being written out like when Courtney Hope left the bowl and the beautiful the first time as Sally Spectra and returned within months. Then, when the road had ran out for Sally once again on the soap, her popularity and devoted fan base likely paved the way for her character to the young and the restless. A hop like that hadn't happened in quite some time. In fact, I believe Kimberly Brown is the only other CBS soap actress whose character has a deep running history on both shows. In a sit down with Deadline, she shared that she brought property in Montana, where her son lives, as she wanted to be closer to her grandchild, whose birth is expected in June. Her plans were set. 